Hello, today we're going to go over downloading and installing SQL Server Developer Edition. We're also going to download SQL Server Management Studio and install it as well and connect to the SQL Server. The version we're going to install is SQL Server 2022. So the first thing we do is we go to Google and we search for download SQL Server. Use this link, which is Microsoft.com. It gives you all the editions. And of course, if you scroll down, those are the free versions. Notice we have two free versions, the developer and the express. The developer, if you're a student and you're not going to be using it in a production environment, go with the developer mode because it's, it's a full featured free edition. But if you're planning to use it in uh, production, you can use the express mode, the express version. However, you can't create large databases with this one, up to 10 gigabytes only. So today what we're going to do is download the developer edition and install it. So click on download and open the file. All right, so you can go with the, basically the basic installation. It, it's it's uh, good enough. And you accept the license. You choose where to install it. So the minimum is eight and a half gigabyte. And click install. So this is going to take a while. I'm going to go ahead and pause and come back when it uh, when it's uh, progressing or when it's done. So just to give you an idea about the time, it's been about 10 minutes now and it's uh, downloaded successfully and it's installing right now. And again, I'm gonna pause and come back when it's done. Okay, so it took a, go a good uh, 20 minutes and now we came to this screen. And uh, basically I'm gonna show you how to install SQL Server Management Studio as SMS in order to connect to the SQL Server. So I'm gonna click here, I'm gonna open up a website in order to uh, download it. So I'm just gonna go here and say free download, click on it. And it is downloading it right now. And it's the same idea, we're gonna click on it. As you can see, it's 677 megabyte. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and open the file. Minimize this. And I'm just gonna go with the defaults. If you wanna change the location of where it's installing, feel free. But I'm just gonna go with the default and say install. And that's release 18, that's the latest release basically. So we're downloading the latest release of uh, SQL Server 2022 and the latest SSMS. All right, this is gonna also take a while. I'm just gonna pause the video and come back when it's done. Okay, so uh, as you can see, it took about 15 minutes to uh, get done and now setup is complete. So we're gonna get clo hit close. Also here, let's get clo hit close. Now we're gonna go look for server server uh, uh, the uh, the Azure the uh, SQL Server Management Studio. Now, if you uh, scroll down under Microsoft SQL Server 18 tools, here it is. I usually just right click it and uh, pin it to uh, my taskbar. It just makes things easier that it's always there. So I'm gonna start the SSMS. And remember, we're not connecting remotely, we're connecting to this machine where we installed SQL Server. So, so uh, we wanna connect to the database engine, make sure you are on a database engine. This is the server name. So the server name is your machine name because we're connecting to it. If you, if you want to know your machine name, basically come to my computer, this PC, right click in properties.
and this would give basically give you the uh, machine name. So here it is. So you want to connect with Windows authentication and just say connect. And here it is. Here's a here's a, our uh, new SQL server. Now you you can click on uh, no query. And this is a no query where we can write commands to query the databases. So at this point, uh, probably it's a good idea to download some sample uh, databases from Microsoft. So go to Google, search for Microsoft Sample SQL databases, and basically uh, click on the first link. So I went back and I'm going to click on this second link, which has the uh, downloads in the bottom here. So this is an, uh, you know, a lightweight data warehouse or LTP. So I'm going to just uh, download this data warehouse. And I'm going to download this adventure works. And I'm going to go and restore them to uh, my SQL server. So, so I'm going to say restore database. And then I'm going to choose device, add, and then I, it's, they are in my download folder. So I'm going to go to my download folder. Maybe it's just easier for me to go and move them from the download folder to a temp folder on the C drive. So if I created, I have already a temp folder, so maybe I can go to downloads and copy these two guys here and go back to my temp, paste them here. And this way, it would be a lot easier to find them. So see temp, and here are the two databases. So I'm going to go ahead and restore one database at a time. So this is the uh, DW. See, OK, OK, and OK. And it's restoring it. And this was successfully restored. As you can see, it's here. Now I'm going to restore this, the, the second one. Same procedure. The LT one. And as you can see now, we have a full functioning uh, database server, SQL server with databases and you can uh, run queries and, uh, you know, do what, what, uh, what you uh, must with it. And that's, uh, that's all about downloading, installing SQL Server 22 and SQL Server Management Studio. Well, thank you for watching. Please support this channel by liking, subscribing, and sharing. And see you in the next video.